after going 1-0 down today, um, it must have felt like the same story all over again, dominating the game but losing to the single goal. Uh, how, how did you feel when we went 1-0 down? Did you think we'd put, pull it back and win the game? Well, I think you've analysed our season in a nutshell there. Um, we have dominated the majority of the games that we played and then you know, we haven't taken the chances. All well, the keepers made some fantastic saves for the opposition. And then we always tend to uh, you know, give one goal away in a game. And I said to Wayne Shaw coming out at half-time, I felt you know, that the way this game had gone, it wouldn't surprise me if we went 1-0 down. And within three minutes of the second half, we were. Uh, fantastic response from the players, in, uh, having said that. And uh, you know, hopefully this is a real springboard for them to start believing in themselves again. Uh, so, some goals. Um... Uh, do you feel like you would be getting these goals on a more regular basis or is it just a one-off? <laughs> well, I hope it's not a one-off, uh, Johnny, that's for sure. Um, listen, I'll be if, if the team um, didn't have the ability that I know it's got and we weren't creating chances, then I'd have been more concerned. The fact is, we've been creating eight, nine, ten chances every game. Um, but you know we've got to move on now. We've got to be positive. We've won a game today. Um, you know we won it comfortably. I think if we'd won seven or eight, that wouldn't have been an injustice. Um, so it's not a one-off, um, but it is up to the individuals to take responsibility for scoring the chances, and they've done that today. Okay. Um, one thing that the fans have been maybe worrying about slightly is whether we'll survive the drop. Can you assure them that we won't go down this year? Yeah, I've, I said. Uh, I think I said going back a month ago at the Tunbridge game that people just need to. Believe in the team like I believe in them. There's no way we'll go down. Not 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 a, not not a chance. Um, and as I said, we haven't ruled out um, ourselves from looking at the other end of the table yet. But we won't go down. Um, we're too good a team for that, and uh, we will get it right. Okay. Uh, do you think the fans played a part in the turnaround today? Quite vocal today. I think the away support we've always had is fantastic. Um, you know, we, we, we get good vocal support away from home. It does make a difference to the players. I mean, we had 100 plus at Truro. Um, you know, they went to Eastbourne for us. They followed us, um, you know, they follow us all over and make a lot of noise. And it does make a big difference. Um, and that's, you know, that's our third win now in the last four away games. So away from home, we're doing fine. But we do need to start winning at home. Um, it's not a problem I've ever had in the four years I've been at Sutton. We normally win at home um, most of the time. So it's something that we want to put right and quickly. Do you think the home support could be as vocal as the support at away games sometimes? Only if you uh, apply with as much beer as the away fans seem to take on board. Listen, at the end of the day, um, it's always been quieter at home ever since I've been there. Um, we have asked people to be a bit louder, but I'm sure it's the effect of the alcohol that these boys have on their away trips that makes a difference. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. You're more than welcome, no problem. And um, yeah, Good luck for the next week. Okay, cheers, John. See you Tuesday, yeah? Yep.